Hello everyone, my name is Ruthie, or as some know me on Twitch as Ruthless Night Sister, and today I will be talking you through how I use a free app on my phone to turn all of my Twitch clips into clips for TikTok, Instagram Reels, and anywhere else you want to put them on the internet. So let's go! All right, so the first step is to figure out the clip that you want to clip. If you already have this, you can skip to the next step where I start explaining CapCut and how all of that works. So we're just going to go to our videos on our account and we're going to just go to popular clips. We're going to click view all and you're going to go through and find the clip that you want to clip. I'm going to be using this specific video for our demonstration. So you just click into the video, you click down here where it says share, and then there should be a button for you that says download. If it's not your clip, you can go to any website like Clipper and things like that and copy and paste the link in and that will allow you to download other people's clips or if you're not signed into your account, download your own clips. So you're just going to download it and it's going to appear at the bottom of your screen. I use Chrome. I don't know what you're using, so hopefully it looks similar. And then I have a Google Drive. Uh, account where I have a folder where I upload these so I can get them to my phone. There's other ways you can do that. You could email it to yourself. You could send it in a message to yourself. If you have an Apple device, it will be easier to transport it back and forth. However, you can do it to get that to your phone. All right, now we can switch to the phone. Now that we've gotten our clip off of TikTok, not TikTok, off of Twitch, uh, we can go to the phone now. All right, now we're on our phone. So. Like I said before, the app I use that is totally free, it's called CapCut. I know it's available for iPhone, I will see if it's available for Android and I'll mention it over here if it is or if it isn't. Uh, so you just go to the App Store and you download the app, it's totally free. Uh, if you don't, if you already have it, then just open the app and we can go from there. All right, open the app and then you click the button that says new project at the top. Here is where you should have already downloaded the video that you sent through yourself, either sent to yourself either through Google Drive or through email or Facebook Messenger or however you got it to your device. Uh, you're going to select the video that you want to edit and then you're going to go through the video and see if there's anything you like about the video or don't like about the video and you're just going to cut out all the parts you don't like. So I'm going to do that really quick uh, and then we're going to have our little cut video. So to cut any of the things, you just go over the part of the video you want to cut and then you hit split and that will cut the video and then you can choose either to delete this or move it around, whatever you want. So now that we have our finalized video that is the length that we want it to be, uh, I didn't have to cut this one very much, but sometimes you just want very specific parts of like a six minute video and then you can put it all together. So if you have lots of different pieces, I like to hit the download button so that will export your video. Uh, and then I create a new project. So you'll go to the new project button again. Sorry, I'm on my phone. And then you will click the shorter video that you had already saved and exported and cut and clipped the way you wanted it to. And so then you'll have the little video. So then you take that video and you create an o you click the overlay button. And this will allow you to put that video on top of it so you can get your face cam separate from the actual video itself. So let's add that in here. And so also make sure to turn down the volume on the overlay clip because that will make it so you don't blow your eardrums out without how loud the sound is. Now that we have this overlay video, this is going to be our face screen video. So we're going to go over to this button that says edit. And this is going to make it so that we can crop our video to just be our face cam on top. So. You just go in and you crop what you want. Uh, there's different crop options. I'm not sure, there's not necessarily rounded crop options, but I know you can do that with you use masking and stuff. Uh, but if you just have a basic rectangular, square, whatever face thing, this is easy peasy lemon squeezy. So now we have our face cam and our stream separated. Uh, something you want to do now, or you could do it before you do any of this cutting, is go scroll over to format slash canvas and you want to hit i believe it's nope it's not canvas you want to hit format and that will allow you to make it whatever format you want so it's going to already be at the 16.9 format that you use for twitch because that's how you stream and so you want to switch it to the 9.16 format that is TikTok, Instagram, anything like that is gonna be in that format. Or you can make it a square or whatever else you need for your needs. Um, so then you're going to take the bottom video that is the stream and you're gonna make it a lot bigger, however big you need it to be. And then you're going to take your face cam and you're gonna make it smaller or 
whatever size you want it to be. Some of my videos, I like my face cam to be get bigger because it's more about my face and what I'm saying versus the game itself. So then you just situate that however you want. I like to also, I like to also go in to canvas. This is why I got confused and use the blur tool for the background because that just adds a little bit of cleanness to it. But that's totally optional. You could use anything else as the background if you so desire. Just leave it black. Uh, so I also like to caption my videos. So then you just go into the text thing and it ha CapCut is amazing and it has a lovely auto caption feature that you just click continue and it will auto caption your videos. Obviously, it doesn't always get the wording right. So you have to go in and make sure that your captions like I didn't swear here, uh, even though the this thinks that I swore here. So you go in, you fix all the auto captions, and then you can also go in and you can change how the auto captions look. You can change the font and everything. Like I usually use the modern font and you can place them wherever you want. The lovely thing about the auto captions is when you change one, it changes both of them. And so they will all be format. Uh, you can also just create text and type it in yourself if you don't like using an auto caption, but I like to use that feature. And so let me clean up all my captions and then I'll come back and explain how to finalize everything. All right, so I'm back now. And so this is what we have. Now that we've actually finalized all the video and everything, this is where we're at with the text and my face and the blur in the background and then the video underneath. And you can differentiate this and add other things and add special effects and things like that. CapCut is amazing. It has really great features, especially these, uh, I can't remember what they're called, uh, point features that will allow you, like if you wanna zoom your face in at this part and then zoom it out at this part, it, it does an amazing job of giving you full creative freedom for what you wanna do. It's just a matter of messing around with the app. But as for just making a basic video, I know there's other places on the internet that you can plug your clips in and they will automatically spout them out. But I kind of like this little specialness that you can make your video however you want it you can make your captions you can just make it however you want it to be and so that's how i make personally make my twitch clips for tiktok and instagram reels so i hope you enjoyed let me know if you have any questions please leave it in the comments i'm more than happy to answer any questions i love CapCut. if you'd like more tutorials please let me know and if you wouldn't mind please leave me a sub uh, and go check out my tiktok my instagram my twitch which will all be listed down below and have an amazing rest of your day and i hope your videos and <laughs> creations go smoothly. May the force be with you. Goodbye.